guys this is Tina welcome back to my channel so just here to work a bit more making some more um, lovely ephemera for our um, journal using the crafty individuals stamps so I again I brought along the base of my ring bound journal so we're going to do you know making some ephemera and then the the full page um, layout I don't know why but when I make a, a ring bound journal I tend to do the pages as I go um yeah I don't know why that is but for some reason I do so I've brought along some of my dawn list background pages um I've got here one of my fabulous flowers I've got this um sheet you know from the title of some um what do you call it sheet music and obviously you know a whole bunch of other things as well so Let's just get playing and see, you know, how this um, layout comes together. We're just going to literally play around and see what happens. Uh, I did also dig out actually a couple of things from the mass making, which I thought, you know, we might use those because they obviously, not that one, sorry, uh, they might cut down on some of the time and, um, you know, prove quite useful. So all I'm going to do in the first instance is, again, just tear down some of the dawn mist pages that I'm going to layer up on the background. I just think this adds quite a lot of, um, you know, really nice dimension. Actually, I'm not going to glue that down yet because let's just check, you know, how we want the page and how it's going to come together. So we've got that. Now, I thought for this one, I'm going to use this beautiful car stamp. Now, I've already used um, in an earlier video this beautiful car stamp. I haven't used this one yet, but I did get cracking and mounted it and obviously stamped it onto the back of the phone. So I know it's, you know, again, a lovely stamp because obviously I stamped it onto here. But I haven't actually used it inside anything or you know stamped it onto paper at all so just having a look around deciding what to stamp it onto uh, again I mean I'm just trying to use up some scraps and what have you from around on my desk so I might just take this bit of fly sheet again <coughs> and just ooh, must be good must be good mount this onto the the block. I am so shoddy with my methods honestly. So we're just going to ink this stamp up and again I'm just using that stays on the black stays on. My favourite um, you know when stamping I really like the stays on stamps so just going to stamp that down there and again actually I should have really not stamped over the top of all my bits and bobs because I might have a lumpy image uh, as it happens I haven't so hopefully you can see that isn't that just the most lovely image oh, I just absolutely love that right going to be good well behaved and pop that back into the packet <clears throat> Yeah, I thought I would spare you the mounting them onto the foam because uh, obviously you've seen me do that a couple of times. The code for this stamp, if you were interested, you know, to get your 20% off, um, this is CI405. So that's the code there. Um, just want to kind of share those codes with you and things as we go because otherwise I will just literally forget. So that's that. Now for some other things to layer up in the background <coughs> excuse me I really have got a fog in my throat now uh, right this is from my birdsong papers so clearly this is not going to go with you know what I've got in mind although actually that does look quite nice but I just wondered whether I might just tear down some of the um, the newspaper print and I thought I might go for this pocket so oh, I might struggle to get that car onto that pocket actually I might struggle with that one now where's the other pocket that I said that I had bought along from the mass makes so 
So I've got this one. That might be better. Let's pop that back out of the way. Right, let me just cut around this. So I'm actually going to cut it instead of tear it. I hope everyone's having a good day. Hope you're getting some crafting in. I hope you're, um, you know, enjoying these um, videos using these lovely stamps. You know, even if you don't want to buy them or anything, I hope you're enjoying the videos anyway. So that looks quite nice on there, doesn't it? Just, you know, even as it is with even nothing else, I think that looks really nice. So if that was going to go onto this page... I'm just going to sort of lay it out roughly and then glue some bits down. So, <coughs> now do I want some of this? Oh, let's just cut, or oh, not cut, sorry. That's my usual, my usual standards of just tearing. Let's just tear a little bit of the newsprint. Let's see whether we might like that. Oh, that's quite nice, isn't it? Yeah, I quite mm, quite like the look of that. And then I've got some other white lace with me today. So, uh, just have a look. Right, well, I quite like that. So I'm going to just commit to this and pop this on. This is slightly longer than the page, so I'm just going to apply the glue to the page itself and then I will trim it off after I've glued it on. So just going around this on the edges and then we'll just go into the middle as well. well if my glue is going to come out, I must be on... My glue must be on its last legs, so that's a bit of a bit of a shame. But I hadn't figured that out before starting the video. Never mind. So, do we want it? Mm, yeah, let's put it like that. Excuse my my head there. But sometimes you do just need to sort of lean in just to check where that's where it's going. So, and again, I'm just going to spread that out with my card. And then I'm just going to trim that little bit off the bottom. <clears throat> like that. Okay. And then we're going to have that newspaper piece there. But probably over a little bit. Just need to check which way this yeah I should have really stamped my or oh, punched my holes um, I haven't done that yet right so if we have that there now I'm thinking maybe we might have a little foldy outy piece so again let me just see what I've got here beside me and I have got I think I think I did do some dawn mist papers where I also stamped on the back, uh, not stamped, sorry, printed, printed onto the back. Um, unfortunately, they look a bit of a different colour, obviously, to the others, because these were printed on ivory and these were on um, white, which does make quite a difference, to be honest. But this would look quite nice then. So I might just trim this down round about here. And I'll just go sort of quite the way along. So if I would have that stuck as a flip outy piece, oops, it's going to have to um, be chopped down here because obviously that's where the printer didn't really, you know, want to grab it at first. That happens for some reason on my printer when sometimes I use the thicker cardstock, which this is the thicker cardstock. Um, it just doesn't seem to like it sometimes so it then 
has those drag lines, which obviously don't look very nice, but it does then print at least, but it misses the first couple of millimetres. Right. So obviously I now need to trim that down because it's hideously misaligned. <clears throat> straight-ish. No, not there it doesn't. It looks not very straight at all in fact. Okay, so that's our little piece that we can attach, whoa, attach to the side like that. Now I wonder, is that going to be like an overdose of cars? Let's just have a look. Obviously, I realise this piece isn't going to fit on there, but I don't want to go tearing it down if actually it's just going to look really rubbish anyway. So I'll just cut that for the moment. It's a really drab day today, I must say. Very dark, dark and dismal. I mean, I know it is January, so probably that's to be expected, but it's... Uh, it's dark. Oh, I don't mind that actually. I mean, although it is both cars, I I think that's kind of nice. I don't really mind. So I might do that. So what I'm going to do first of all is I'm going to glue this piece down. Like that. <clears throat> okay just pop that on down there and then what I'm going to do is ink everything up so let me just pull in my well not pull in they're right there but ink it all up need to be careful I don't dip in my stays on so I'll just ink all around here like that Okay, Look around here as well. Yeah, like that. And then I'm going to ink around my little gorgeous stamped piece. So just ink that up. Like that. Okay, I mean, I have to be careful because this is on pretty thin paper because it was just that fly sheet so you know when you're stamping you can quite easily you know shift it over and move it around so just needed to be a little bit careful but there we go okay and then just ink around the edge And actually I might round the corners at least at the top even if I don't do them top and bottom just going to ink them at the tops <clears throat> like that so I'll just ink that there and then I'm just going to ink this um, you know flippy out flippy outy piece So, like that. And just again, you know, down where the crease is, focusing on that as well. And then down there. And then in here. And just do this piece here. <clears throat> And then obviously flip it over and do the the blue side. My son and I just started watching um, something called White House Farm on ITV. Um, ITV, that's Channel Three over here. So again, if you've got that brick box thing, I don't know whether that's all of the channels, um, but if it is it's it's ITV um, and it's 
about a murder that happened, I think it said 1985. Um, true, horrible. So, um, yeah, true and horrible, but for some reason makes quite an interesting drama. So we just started watching it and um, it's a shame because it's actually a six-parter. And I mean, I know I've said before, but I'm quite impatient. So for me, you know, waiting to watch it week by week for six weeks is a bit of a drag, really. But, but you know, never mind. Oh, I love how that looks now. Right. So I'm going to glue that down. Now, I'm still debating whether I want that there or whether I just want this as actually just a, just a tag. I do love it here. Which side do I tear down? Oh gosh, what a decision. I'm going to do this side. Yeah, anyway, it was quite a good drama and um, I didn't know that it was in six parts. So the funny thing was, you know, we were saying, oh, it's really good, you know, while we were watching it. And um, he said, oh, is it, you know, how many parts is it? So I said, oh, maybe it was, you know, maybe it's just one part. I said, well, I'm not sure they've got enough really to um, make it a two part thing. And then when I looked, it's a six part thing. So there was me saying, you know, I don't know if they've got enough to make it two parts. It's actually six. So, you know, I'm intrigued what's going to be happening, but it was, uh, it was good. It was a very sad story, I have to say. But yeah, right. Okay, and I'm going to just glue that obviously onto the pocket piece itself. So that's glued down. So that will just then be a little, little extra sort of flippy piece. Okay, so I love how that looks now. And we're going to leave it as a pocket, I think, from this side. So let's just now glue that onto the page. Okay. And then down here. So just literally on three sides, pop your glue down, pop it there like that. Okay. So just hold it down for a couple of moments. Just check that I'm in frame and that I'm filming. Nothing worse than just sitting here talking to myself and <laughs> discovering that nobody else has even heard me. <clears throat> okay, now, just wondering what might be quite a fun thing to do. And, you know, I don't do things like this that often because I find things like this a little bit complicated, but... I'm thinking what would be quite fun, if I glue some string onto the page on the other side, I can pop one of those little, what do you call these? You know, the round things, the round things with the brads. So hold on while I get some thicker card. Oh, under my desk, I'd spotted some earlier. So just going to do it in this thick card because this is then actually pretty thick and just one one piece is um you know sufficient so i'm just going to ink that up so even though it's the buff color i'll just make it more a bit more grungy like that and we can then have that like that which I just think looks awesome so right let me get my pokey tool to make my hole. Oh no, I can't see that anywhere. Oh, why do I have such mess everywhere? Right, I'm just going to use this one. So, let me just pop it on there. Again, just try and judge roughly the centre. Hopefully that's roughly in the centre. And I'm just going to get a brad. So, just excuse my my arms and my head and everything else that's all across the camera. 
Oops. Right, I knew I had some in there somewhere. So I just poked that brad through like that. I'm just going to trim that little bit off because that's actually the stem of the brad is really long, so it was just overhanging a little bit. Okay. Oh yeah, I really love how that, you know, that's going to look. So I'm just going to glue that down. Now, have I gone mad? Have I gone mad? You know why? <laughs> because obviously now I haven't gone through two pieces of paper. So let me punch out another hole. Uh, not a hole, another circle. Because normally, obviously, I have then popped this through through some paper but obviously we're just gluing this onto the page so what on earth right let me just ink it up in case there's any you know going to show <clears throat> pop that together Get my pokey tool out again and poke it through the bottom one as well now where's my brag gone there it is Oh, come on. That's better because now I've got in between those circles that I can obviously wind my string. Like that. Okay. So I'm just going to pop my circles down. Excuse my head again. Now I'm going to pop my circles down with the three and one because hopefully that's going to be nice and strong. And, um, you know, glue that onto the page really nicely. So just going to fix that down. Okay. And then what I'm going to do is just wind whoa, gently because it's not obviously glued in place. So now it's just moving about, but wind my string round. <clears throat> need to be wound round billions of times or anything just a couple of times plenty and then what I'm going to do is just turn the piece over and I'm going to glue it down then just here on the back page and it's absolutely no problem being glued here because all that we can you know all that we will do now is when we come to decorate this page we will obviously hide it. So your string is coming from, you know, from here, from round the back, and we will just hide that when we come to do that page. So it's a really awesome way of doing one of those closures. Right, now, wouldn't be one of my pages if I didn't have a bit of lace somewhere. So of course we must now, must add a little bit of lace. Oh, I've got one of those fabric flowers now just dropped onto the desk. Now the question is, what do we want and where do we want it? I still haven't stitched any lace ruffles, so I must do that to be fair. Um, because I could then obviously include the ruffles. Right, so that's a chore for later on today. Stitch some ruffles before I come on and do another video. What do you reckon? By the time I finish this, I will have forgotten all about that. Probably. Probably. Right. Let's pop that there. Well, that's quite pretty, isn't it? So let's just trim that down. And we could just have that sort of going round at a curve, I think. Maybe even sort of longer than the piece. Yeah, I quite like it like that. So just going to take my glue like to the piece basically because it's in the perfect position. So I don't want to move it and then risk risk not putting it back where I, you know, where I want it. So I'm just going to glue it down exactly where it is. I do like um 
lace kind of going around the corner like that. I think it's really nice. So, uh, right, let's chop that down. <clears throat> okay, and then we're just going to pop a bit of lace at the top. Oh, come on. Come on, glue. There is plenty in here. pop that on there like that right let me just press all that down with the the dried wipe now do we want some bling because well it just wouldn't be the same without any would it and I've actually got a little flower here which we could pop on somewhere you see now <laughs> I do get that probably a lot of people would say oh no not the flower but for me, I just think, oh, that kind of lifts the page. You know, like without it, it looks quite colourless and quite bland. Where when I just pop the flower there, it just adds that slight, you know, that I don't know what, what I would describe it as, but the slight thing that it just needed to lift it. So I'm going to pop that there. Like that. Okay, and then I'm just going to pop the bling up there. like that okay so just mop up mop it off not pull it off okay so that's that piece so we obviously have this pocket here and we've got a pocket in here so again let's just quickly um oh you know what I forgot to add to that page that I just spotted we didn't add any of this there I just I mean there wasn't really anywhere to put it to be fair but I had intended on on putting it somewhere. Right, having a look now to see what type of thing that we might like in here. So I might make a couple of, or you know, I might make a little flippy pad. So if we just go with that. So that's just used up that entire sheet of fly sheet now. So yay, another piece gone from my clutter. Another piece gone, not that you'd know it, is probably the most apt description there. Gone, but definitely not so you should notice. Right, now I've got some coffee dyed paper behind me. So I'm just grabbing that. guys about this just grabbing it in because I actually coffee dyed some paper which I really do hate doing in the winter I must say because it's so much easier in the summer where you can just scatter it all over um, but I you know I had to sort of run low so I had no choice so I had to make that big mess in the kitchen and then obviously clear everywhere up which just makes it just take you know twice as long really but and it's always a problem drying it I dry it in the oven if I do it in the kitchen but the oven isn't great because um you know I'm not very patient so I tend to have the oven a bit hot hence this is quite dark because I don't think it was the coffee mixture I think it was that I burnt it a bit in the oven but that's just me I'm afraid because I am quite an impatient person so uh, you know I lose patience a bit waiting for it to to dry right let's now just staple this so and again I mean obviously again if you've got your sewing machine you know sewing machine obviously would be probably nicer but you know I don't think that the that the um, staple method method is awful I think it just you know this sewing obviously would be better but nothing against the staples. So 
So we just trim all those little bits and bobs off there. And then I can just pop a little bit of lace at the top just to cover up those staples basically. Come on, glue. that on there and I just wonder whether I've got enough to actually fold it over only just literally only just so just pop that down on the back okay I just need to trim that off now at the edges we're at the edge actually only one there we go so that's just a pretty little flippy pad that I'm going to pop into that pocket, I think. And then we just want to make something that's going to slot into there. <coughs> Excuse me. That frog in my throat, it's, uh, it's a bit irritating, isn't it? Right. So I might as well use this, um, which I've got just, you know, sat here on my desk which obviously we used, when did we use this? Did we use this just now? No, we might have We might have used this in a different video, but um, thinking maybe I will do a fold up. Might be quite fun. Well, I guess where it could be a fold down. Let me just trim it at the edge. Oops. Oh dear, I haven't realised that I'd cut that sort of in when I'd cut it before. Oh well. Right, so we could have this either then as a fold down or indeed a fold up. And just bin these pieces. <clears throat> and then what we can do is inside here, so if we just ink this up sit back down. I had been obviously standing up there whilst I was rummaging around for things. Oops, we'll just ink this up a little bit. Ink it up here on the back because obviously this is a pull-out piece so you're going to see the front and the back so it's nice to ink up both. And just ink all around and again, you know, focus on them back. Um, fold line. Okay. Okay. So now I'm just going to cut out <clears throat> a little couple of pieces to put in here. So I'll just take one. Um, sort of to size and then I'll just use this to um, gauge the size of the other one so let's have a look okay so that's look that looks a good size so I'm just going to trim that down here trim it down at the side Okay, and then I'm going to round, round the corners. Oops. Oh, come on. And those there. And then because I've rounded obviously those, I'm just going to round these as well. Like that. Oops. Probably really full of um, bits of paper now in the back. Yeah. Let's empty that a bit. Might make it do a slightly neater, neater corner. Maybe that was the corner. I can't remember now which corner it sort of didn't do very nicely. But oh well. Right. 
and then I'm just going to glue these down. <clears throat> Let me just decide which way up I want them, maybe like that. Nope, maybe, maybe like that. Okay, that's that one. And then just do this one. Oops. Okay, so I just pop those down. And then I'm just going to ink them up a little bit. I mean, they are coffee dyed, obviously, but oops, just to, um, you know, give them sort of definition where they're around the edges. Like that. That looks awesome now. Now, I still can't decide. Do I want this as a flip up or do we actually want it as like a flip down? I think the flip down is kind of interesting, um, you know, because the obvious way is to have a flip up, flip, uh, a flip up, isn't it? So it's kind of interesting to do a flip down, I think. So all we're going to do now is obviously decorate a little bit on the front so as it looks a little bit on the pretty side so let's just see again through my stamps and um, no, I'm going to take this beautiful script stamp that I just absolutely love and what I might do is actually stamp it onto here as a piece to use for um, for decorative purposes, i.e., you know, that I can tear apart to use around in this journal. So I just ink that up. Oh gosh, I can't see a thing now through my block. So let's hope I haven't missed that paper altogether. Well, I did get it on there, but I have to say only just. Not, not brilliantly, not with loads of room to spare. <clears throat> Okay, pop that back in there. I should put that lid on my stays on, shouldn't I? So, so don't be tempted to dip my blending tool in there. Right, so I'm going to just tear out a section. That we can add there. And then what do we want to pop on onto the front? Again, let me just have a look and see. Because obviously I've got just, you know, tons of rubbish all over my desk. Um, well, my desk ephemera, you know, I've got tons of desk ephemera. So I might as well just pull something in rather than hunt around, you know, endlessly for something else. I might as well just use what I've got here. So... I'm sure that I have things that are perfectly good to use. So, I mean, I'm tempted to choose this. The only thing is it hasn't got anything blue. I don't mind that it hasn't got anything blue, actually. So, let's just, again, take that blending tool, blend around the edge of this piece. Just take a bit of glue. Just pop that on the side like that and then I'm just going to ink up this so this is just one of my little dictionary definitions they're just really handy because they just go in like a variety of, of places and I just wonder whether I need to pop that onto some fabric or some book page or something maybe some doily or something let's just have a look And I could just back it onto something blue. Let's have a look. I'll just tear this piece down and just see how it would look. <clears throat> oh my gosh, look at my awful tearing. So if we were to have that like that. Oh, 
Oh, that's just disappeared to nothing now. You can barely see it. Oh, it's because I was trying to do it at an off angle to the piece. So obviously then that made it a little bit on the tricky side to actually then tear anything like in the shape that it needed to be. Okay, so let's just ink that up and see how that would look. So... Oh, that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. So, again, just glue that down. And then glue this piece down there. That looks really, really pretty, doesn't it? Okay, so like how that all looks. So then what we're going to do is obviously tuck it in <clears throat> behind our piece. So if you recall, we obviously made that, uh, what do you call those? Like a policy envelope um, closure. So we just can unwind that now. And that's where obviously you can then access your pocket to tuck that piece in. You've got your fold out and then you can tuck in your little flippy pad into there. So again, you've got quite a bunch of journaling on that page, even though the page is, you know, very highly decorated. You've actually got quite a few areas because you've got your flip out bit. You've got this part of the pocket. You've got your little flippy pad and you've got this obviously flip down piece. So I love how that page came together. I hope that you guys like it as well. Um, and yeah, hopefully you will join me for another one. Um, I mean, I probably won't do all of this on camera, you know, on film, because I think, you know, possibly people get a bit tired by the end of a, you know, a series. But I will do one or two more videos because it's fun to do. So um, yeah, hopefully you'll join me next time. So thanks very much for watching and see you guys soon. Thanks, Em. Bye.